Hey, what's up, guys? This is Austin here. Now, I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. There's a windstorm where I am, so it's just super fucking loud because it's seeping through the windows. But um, bear with me. Today's story time takes place about six months ago. Now, I have a car, and I don't have my license. I have my permit, so I drive with my friends a lot. So most of the time, my car just sits in the garage. Now, uh, you're probably like, why are you telling me this? It's important to know for the story, okay? So I had some friends over about six months back, two friends of mine, and my one friend brought his girlfriend. So counting my friend's girlfriend, there was four of us in total. Now my friend had just recently started dating this girl at the time, and they were kind of in like that cupcake honeymoon phase where like they were just making out and shit and like super in love with each other and they just didn't care who saw. And I remember we were in my room, I was on the computer finishing editing, and they were sitting on my bed together. And my other friend was in the living room watching Netflix, and my buddy and his girlfriend were just on my bed, pretty much right in front of me, just making out. So I finish my edit, I go and check Twitter, and like after five minutes of them making out, they stop, and my friend goes, hey Austin, we're gonna go down to the vending machines, okay? I was like, all right, man. And he's like, all right, we'll see you in a little bit. I was like, okay, have fun. So they went, they put their shoes on, and they left out the front door, and they took the elevator down to the vending machine floor of my apartment. It's like where the vending machines and the gym is, and like the theater, stuff like that for all the residents. So they went down there, and I was kind of excited because I finally had some fucking peace, and I didn't have to look up and just see them making out. But they ended up being gone for a long time, and I kind of realized, like, they're not just going to the vending machines. Do you guys want to know what they did? They left my apartment, took the elevators down to the parking garage, went to my car, opened the doors. You're probably wondering how they get your car unlocked. Well, look, my dumbass never kept anything valuable in my car, and I never do, so I would just leave my car unlocked. And uh, this taught me not to leave it unlocked ever again. But yeah, they went down to the parking garage, walked up to my car, got into my car, put the seats back, and just started hooking up in my fucking car. Yeah, they thought that was appropriate. So you're probably wondering, Luna, how'd you come to learn that they were doing this in your car? So after like 20 minutes of them being down there, I was like, damn, like, they're either just making out for a really long time, or like, they just left and went home or something. So I waited a little bit longer, I waited like another 20 minutes, and I didn't see any sign of them coming back upstairs, so I was like, alright, I'm gonna go check on them. My friend's like, okay, I'll come with you. So we go down to the floor where the vending machines are and stuff, they weren't there. And then I decided to go down to the parking garage where their car was to see if their car left. So I went downstairs to the parking garage and I walked past my car and I realized I saw a movement. I was like, what the fuck? Did my car just move? And I turn around and I look and it was going like up and down a little bit. And I was like, no way are they doing what I think they're doing in my fucking car. So I look closer and I can kind of see just the car bouncing up and down and I realize, oh my fuck, they're actually doing that. So I tap on the window while I look away because I didn't want to see it. And my friend goes, shit, Austin, hold on a sec. And I was like, yeah, hurry up. And like 30 seconds later, they open the doors because they got dressed again. And they get out. And I'm like looking at them. And I'm just like, can you guys please just explain to me why you just did that? And my friend's like, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, no, like, I just don't understand. Like, why couldn't you get into her car and do that? Like, you can't just use her car. You had to get in mine. And like, here's a better idea. Why don't you just get in her car and then you guys drive home together and then you have sex at home instead of in my fucking car? And my friend's like, well, she has a Fiat. I'm like, I don't fucking care that she has a fucking Fiat smart car. I don't fucking care if it's a smaller car than mine. Fuck that. That's not an excuse to do that. And he's just like, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I'm like, whatever. It's kind of funny. But still, like, it's not okay. And he's just like, yeah, man, I know. And I was like... Any reason why you guys couldn't just go in my guest room first? You had to pick my car? And he's like, well, that would have been really rude. And I was just like, oh, oh, that would have been rude. That's where you draw the line? Like, oh, let's not go in his guest room on the guest bed and do it. Let's go downstairs in Austin's car and do it. A car that he uses and will probably be using more in the coming months. And we'll just constantly have that in the back of his head that, like, we had sex in it. Yeah, so anyway, after this whole awkward ordeal went down, we were just pretty much like, okay, let's forget this ever happened. Don't ever fucking do it again. And then I turned around to open the elevator so we could go back upstairs to my apartment. And my friend's like, you know, man, I think we're just going to go back to her house. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, we're really tired. I'm like, oh, you're tired. Okay. I'm sure that's the real reason. Yeah, have fun, guys. Don't fuck in anyone's car while you're at it. And he's just like, yeah, you're funny. I'm like, all right, bye. And I went upstairs. And I learned a very valuable lesson this day. I should probably never, ever forget to lock my car doors. So yeah, guys, moral of the story is, lock your car doors. Uh, don't be like them. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and found it funny. Please leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this. Leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.